Also Allah is Ar Rashid, meaning the one who guided the slaves to whatever benefits them in this life, whether it is from the matters of this life, the worldly matters, or the matters of the hereafter. And you look at how they started when Adam came down to earth. When Adam came down to earth from paradise, he was with his wife, Eve. Just imagine there is no one else on earth. No houses. So see when, when I tell you now, look at the endowments Allah bestowed upon you. Imagine when Adam came down to earth with his wife. He was in paradise. No harm. No tiredness. No depression, nothing from that. Extreme enjoyment, ultimate enjoyment in paradise. Then he came down to earth. That was a hardship for Adam and his wife. He came down to earth. So he had to start everything from the beginning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught him and he taught his children how to build houses, how to make clothes, how to do all that. And even he's the first one to make the coins for selling and buying. When Adam came down to earth, he already came knowing all the languages. And he taught his children. And he taught them many professions in this life, how to do this, how to do that. He taught them. So Adam was the first a human being, and he was so beautiful, so handsome. More beautiful than, they said, red roses on white snow. So Adam was extremely handsome. And as the Prophet ﷺ said, every Prophet that Allah sent was handsome and had a nice voice. Then the Prophet said, and out of all of them, I'm the best one in look and voice. صلى الله عليه وسلم